Hello, my name is Muhammad Taref, and today I will be discussing how to create a highly available containers using Keep Alive D. We created a scenario uh, where I have two containers, and the third one is here. I will be using it for testing. So those two containers, uh, I call them. Um, I named them Web1 and Web2. I installed Nginx and Keep Alive D, and in both of them, of course. And uh, the configuration of Keep Alive D, there is something we call priority. This priority will be more in Web1 compared to Web2. So, for example, here I keep the priority 200 and here 100 what will keep alive d create for me or what will happen if i install keep alive d and i configured it this way web1 will have an ip address of 172.17.0.2 while web2 is having 172.17.0.3 keep alive d during the configuration, I will create another IP. We call it virtual IP or VIP. This IP uh, will be 172.17.0.200. This IP will be attached to Web1, of course, because it has more priority. And whenever something is wrong in Web1, it will be failed over to Web2 will be attached to web2 and this way the microservice will be highly available so for if there is any reason web1 is down web2 will start receiving the traffic in my scenario i used nginx because it's the most simple way to to do the implementation but of course you can have different kind of implementations you can even like spread the containers across multiple docker hosts and using keep alive d you will have some sort of magic happening between them so even like if the whole docker host is down and all the containers is down using keep alive d we can redirect that traffic to another docker host which has our secondary or standby containers so i created um, three containers docker run i named them web1 web2 web3 i used centos image you can use ubuntu you can use centos you can use any flavor and i installed nginx and keep alive d in centos 8 i noticed that uh, in order to do yum install i need to um, uh, do some changes in the yum repos because it's commented out the mirror list to be more particular um, so i changed the mirror list i i removed the comment and then i installed Nginx, keep alive D, Vim, Net Tools, and Init Secrets. I installed the same in Web2. For Nginx, uh, I did some changes just to identify which Nginx web server is replying for my traffic. So in Nginx, uh, in web1, I echoed I am web1 in user share nginx html index.html. I enabled nginx to support restarting the container and I started the service. I did the same thing for web2, but instead I echoed I am web2 and the rest is the same. For Keep Alive D, I did some changes as well uh, in order to make it happen. Um, I created a small bash script uh, to check if Nginx is running. If it is not running, 
it will help me to fail over to the second host so I used this script I created this script check engine x.sh so basically I'm checking ps dash capital C engine x no header wc dash l to check what is the value if engine x is running or not if it is equal zero which means engine x is not running I will try to start engine x and sleep for two seconds and then I will check again if it is still giving me zero I will kill keep alive D which will mean that the VIP or the virtual IP will be failed over to the second host for that second change the keep alive D configuration I did this so I defined the global definitions router ID LBS devil and then I used the script varp script check engine X and I defined that the script that I will be using is this which I created before interval is two seconds and then here this is critical so in, in, in here I am defining the first container web one the initial state is master it should listen to eth1 or eth0 the virtual router ID is 70 priority is 200 and then here I'm defining the virtual IP address 172.17.0.200 the tracking script I should be using check engine X for the second container it's exactly the same I'm using the same script the state should be backup here priority should be less than whatever defined for web one router ID should be the same and the same IP address of course I have to enable keep alive D and I have to start the service in both of them so let's do some testing and see the configuration first and then do some testing to see how does it work so in here I can see that I have multiple containers I have client web 2 and web 1 so let me exec here in web 1 dash so here I'm inside the first container docker exec it um, web 2 dash and here I will be inside the client so if I curl 172.17.0.200 I'm receiving I am web 1 If I'm curling 172.0.17.0.2.3 and dot four. Okay, so this has the IP address 172.17.0.3. This has the IP address. No, web one. Let let's check IPA. Web one, and we can see here. Web one has one seventy two seventeen dot zero dot four, 
and it has the virtual IP address. Web 2, it has 172.17.0.3. Okay, so let me do something tail minus f var log engine x. Let's check the access logs in both of them. Let me check the same thing in Web2 and let's do another curl 172.17.0.200 it's going to Web1 and we see that it is hitting here. So let's stop Web1. So web1 is going to be stopped now. It is stopped. So if we are curling now, we saw that it is hitting here. I am web2, the backup host for web1, blah, 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 blah. Which is pretty cool. Let's start web1 again. Let's curl. I am web1. So it's failing over between failing over here and then it is failing back because it became active again. Let's do one thing while true do curl 172 17.0.200 sleep for one second and done so I'm checking which node is active every second and let's restart Web one. It is restarted. You see, we are receiving traffic from the second node and and then we are reverting back to the first node. Let's do that again. Again, Web2 started to reply and then back to Web1, which is pretty cool. Let's try doing the same using ping command to see if there is any packets that will be dropped. So we see the sequence here. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We see redirection, and then we see from so and so redirect host new next hop is so and so, and then we didn't lose any packet here. We notice it's seventeen, and then the redirection started, and then eighteen, which is pretty much cool. We can even see, notice here that the response is taking too much time, but there is no drop in the packets. So that's all I wanted to discuss for today. I hope that this session is really helpful for you. Thank you again. This is Muhammad Taref and enjoy.